The food is amazing. <laughs> People are like really kind. I love Indonesia. Yeah, I went to Lombok. How about KL? How do you feel here? I like KL. I think it's, it's very safe too. But if you're like digital nomad, like this is definitely a place to consider. In this episode, we're gonna find out what the best country is to travel in in Southeast Asia. We are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and we are going to approach some people who have been traveling already quite a bit in Southeast Asia to check out what their favorite country is. I hope you're excited. Let's go. I've been to Indonesia, and the best place for me, if you ask me, yeah. I would prefer Indonesia. Actually, why is that? More cultural. If you like more authenticity. Okay. That's a better place for you to go. Oh. Yeah. What do you reckon? Have you been traveling uh, in Southeast Asia a lot? Uh, yes. Yeah. Where have you been, may I ask? Thailand, okay. Laos, oh, Vietnam, wow. Cambodia, wow. Malaysia, Indonesia, oh, Brunei. Brunei. Yeah. Wow. So what is your favorite country then, uh, coming from the US all the way here? Uh, I think Malaysia. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm not biased. I just like Borneo a lot. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah right. so and why is that? The locals there are so nice. Yeah. There's a lot to do, diving. Have you been to Thailand and uh, no, not have yet. you been to Singapore? Singapore, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Singapore? Too strict, too many oh, yeah. rules. Uh, yeah. Expensive. It's like uh, expensive. Any other country that pops into your mind other than Malaysia and Indonesia? The classic Thailand. Yeah. Thailand's so fun. Um, the snorkeling there is amazing. Uh, the north is amazing, so uh, all the elephant sanctuary, I did the one. So you, you say you, you picked that maybe as your second best country to travel in? Mm, yeah, that or Indonesia. I don't know, I like them all. I've got actually one more question because you're Malaysian. Sure. What's the best thing about Malaysia, you think? The people. We have multi-racial here, so like whenever you go, you can see a lot of Chinese, a lot of Indians, a lot of Malaysian as well. <clears throat> so like the people. Uh, we represent that. We're basically looking for the best country to travel to in Southeast Asia. Have you been traveling a lot in Southeast Asia? Mm, kind of, kind yeah. of. We can say that we <laughs> yeah. have been traveling a lot. Like, like which countries have you been in Southeast Asia? Uh, Thailand, yeah. Vietnam, Singapore. Malaysia. You Thanks. went to Indonesia? Oh, Indonesia Bali. as oh, well. Yeah. So we're looking for the best place to travel to. Which uh, in, in Southeast Asia then? Yeah. Which country you reckon is well, one of the best or the best country? I think it's Thailand. Yeah. yeah. The food is amazing. <laughs> People are like really kind, really uh, helpful, and you have like really different kind of thing to see. You can travel to the mountains, and then you have the beach, and then you yeah. have the city. So gotcha, gotcha. I will I will say. For sure, Thailand. Yeah. yeah. How about uh, have you been to the Philippines at all? Not yet. Not yeah. yet. Yeah. Ah. Yes. And uh, you mentioned Indonesia. Where have you been in Indonesia? Uh, Bali, and um, I've been traveling all around, so okay. I don't remember all the city. <laughs> oh. It was pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, but it's not really Asian vibes. Ah. It's more like European and Australian vibes. Yeah. So I don't feel it was really Indonesia. Ah, gotcha. Maybe it, uh, if you go next time, uh, different yes. parts. Or? Yes, yeah. I think so. But I, I will say that food is not as good as in Thailand. Oh, wow. Like, Really. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's the best food you can have. It's I, really I gotta be honest with you, Thailand uh, yeah, has yeah, amazing really, food. Like yeah, really, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. How do you like the food here? Oh, so I I'm not sure we have Malaysian food yet. Okay. But if we try like the food yet last night, it's yeah. very, very good. Ah, but yeah. I'm not sure it's like cut like Malaysian Chinese food. I, that, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more, yeah, mixed. I will yeah. say it's mixed food. In Malaysia, where are you uh, planning to go? It's just for a weekend yeah. uh, birthday oh. celebration. Oh, whose birthday is it? It's her oh, birthday. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. What are you doing tonight then? Are you. You're gonna go to the restaurant called Bijan, Bijan Barn Restaurant. Uh, it's like Malaysian dining. Go. So yeah. it's yeah. be very good. Oh, good. Yeah. I feel, I'm happy for you and did you pick Kuala Lumpur in particular and for what reason? Uh, I think it was because easy to travel yeah. here, no visa, nothing and yeah. honestly it's really good choice yeah. Yeah. because yeah. weather is really, I mean it's really hot but it's still okay yeah. and food are nice, it's quite cheap, yeah. uh, people are nice, really welcoming so it's really pleasant. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you recommend people to come to Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. really, right. like yeah. really. It's very nice than we expect a yeah, lot. It's yeah, it's better than what we expect, uh, yeah. so really good. Vietnam, have you been there? You, yes. Oh, we've been there yeah. Yeah. Yes. How do you like Vietnam compared to, let's say, your, your favorite country? I will not go again to Vietnam. <laughs> For me, I really like it. I would say like Ho Chi Minh is not I would not come back yes. because it's still yes. too busy. But for Da Nang, I would like to come back. It's very nice. It's nice yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Da Nang and Hoi, Hoi An. Uh -huh. It seemed very beautiful yeah. and very yeah. yeah. Uh, very for me, nice. it was a little bit too busy, and people were really into the rush in Da Nang. Yeah. Like, especially really when you come to from Thailand, coming to 
Yeah, uh, Vietnam it can be so um, a culture different, and yeah. that can be shocking. But food is really good, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm as always about food, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah, in terms of, I feel like it's it's really like into the rush, you know? Like yeah. there is a lot of people, crowded of people, mm. like uh, cars, scooter everywhere, okay. like. It's like a, a little bit overwhelming. Yes, like. that's good uh, for people who are planning to go to Southeast Asia and want to put yeah. Vietnam on the list. Be aware yeah. of yeah. Uh, or be prepared. I feel like a lot, not everywhere in Vietnam, but if you go to the capital, like, okay, just be prepared that it's not uh, easy to yeah. go. Yeah. It's very helpful. Thank you so much. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Could be anything. Yeah. Just take care of your lovers and enjoy life. Uh, it's really yeah. short. So. Just work life balance, I would say. So yeah. like don't just much pressure on your work, just more like traveling and see the world. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Travel is the best experience yeah. I will say. I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Boracay, Philippines, Thailand. How long ago was this, may I ask? Well, Pre COVID. In the times that you have been traveling before COVID, which was your favorite country to travel in in Southeast Asia? I love Indonesia. Yeah, I went to Lombok and all those gilies, those small islands, I'm hoping. Uh, those are nice places to go. I've been to some other places, yeah, in Indonesia, to the town Jakarta. Uh, the, the town is very, very crowded and hectic, so I, I like most, mostly the beach side. So, yeah. <laughs> so Lombok will be a nice place if you want to go. Yeah. Right? Uh, how about, uh, are you from Kuala Lumpur? Or? Yes, yes, ah. uh, peripherals of Kuala Lumpur. So yeah. it's, it's nice to, for you to have beach and quietness more than... Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, we still have those nice beaches over here. Yeah. But once in a while, you feel like going out. How about Malaysia? Which is your favorite place in Malaysia? Which should ah, we visit? Perhentian Island. Perhentian ah. Island, yeah. yeah that would be a nice place to go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there are Perhentian Besar and Perhentian Kecil. You go to the Perhentian Kecil. So I've been here in Southeast Asia. I just visit uh, Thailand and Singapore oh. and Malaysia right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how long have you been in those places? In Thailand, I've stayed there like one month. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Singapore, some a few days. And yeah. here, I am one week. Where have you been in Malaysia? Uh, in Malaysia, just KL. We're looking basically for the best place in Southeast Asia. What is your experience so far? I like Thailand. The people are very friendly, the food is good, it's cheap, it's safe. So everything is good about Thailand. How about KL? How do you feel here? I like KL. I think it's, it's very safe too. But I think like, in, for example, if you compare to big cities, Bangkok, there are more options of things to do. Okay. I think it, it fits more what I like. Where have you been in Thailand? Have you been only in, in Bangkok? Thailand, Bangkok, Phuket. What's your favorite place in Thailand then? Mm, I like Phuket. Kind of north Thailand and then yeah. south and then here. Mm, so nice. yeah. And anywhere else? Or are you planning to go anywhere else? We're actually planning to go to New Zealand next, so right. we have it away. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I I got a bit jealous from other people's travels because they say Vietnam and like loads of places around there have been yeah. really good. So okay. yeah. What's your favorite bit in, uh, let's say, Thailand then? Uh, I think Chiang Mai. Yeah. We went up north, we went to an elephant sanctuary and then it's just a real chill kind of area. Yeah. Um, we didn't go to Pai, but we heard a lot of good things about <laughs> yeah, Pai. Yeah, like yeah, Pai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And, and um, how about in Malaysia? Have you been only visiting Kuala Lumpur? Or? Yeah, we just got here last night. I oh. and So I'm just doing a bit of turn around today. So if you have any advice for me of where to go, that would oh, be great. Yeah, yeah, but maybe <laughs> off camera in a bit. Yeah. A how was your first impression here in KL? Uh, it's really cool, yeah. Um, I don't want to compare cities, but uh, I'm not a big city person, okay. but I've actually really enjoyed here so far. Uh, People have been really friendly yeah. and um, places are quite clean for a city. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also I, open and very green, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. green. I'm from Ireland and the city <laughs> the city is like so much greener yeah. than back home. It's really cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is there something that you wish you would have known coming to Southeast Asia? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it would have stopped me. I've always been intrigued by because it it's such a different culture to us so but definitely if I'd have seen how na like nature is involved in the city I would have definitely uh, yeah. changed my mind a bit more yeah change your mind about to come, um, to come yeah 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 say. yeah, ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what is uh, because you're going to New Zealand after this mm -hmm. is there a place which you would like to explore a little bit more let's say after yeah I think I would have liked to explore here a bit more in um, Pen Penang uh, and then like also Cambodia Vietnam um, I definitely would have loved to have gone awesome. over there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Oh, um, don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things. Okay. <laughs> I live in Taipei, oh, wow. 
So um, I kind of use that as the base to bounce around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been to most of Southeast Asia, like Thailand, oh. um, Japan, yeah, South have you Korea. Been to the Philippines, uh, Laos? I've been to the Philippines. Uh, I haven't been to Indonesia yet. That's not next on my agenda. Yeah. But this has been a lot of fun so far. I'm okay. just still adjusting a little because yeah. in Taiwan it does get cold in Taipei. Oh, really? Yeah, for oh, like okay. January, February, it gets down to like, I don't know, about. 10 Celsius. What's uh, your favorite country so far in Southeast Asia? I mean, Thailand's the go-to, right? Yeah. I mean, I, it's just such a unique culture. It was never colonized, and I feel that they're very proud of that. When you go there, it's just so much noise and sound and smell, and it's just like, it's just, I mean, this is great too, but I feel like in Thailand, it's like, it's just very lively and free. So yeah. I always go back, I've been there many, many times. Ah, okay. And uh, this for me is, is a little different. I, I love the mix of ethnicities here. How is it walking around in Kuala Lumpur? Oh, it feels fine. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't feel unsafe here at all. I feel like in general, Southeast Asia, the crime is like almost non-existent. Yeah. Compared to New York City, where you definitely yeah. have to have a, you know, an eye out for, for shady characters. Here, um, I don't feel unsafe at all. No. Yeah, I'll walk around at night, it doesn't bother me. What is the best thing that happened to you in Southeast Asia and where was it? There's been things in Thailand which have been a lot of fun, like some of the boat rides I've done, like in the, the southwest uh, of the uh, Thailand, yeah. like popping from place to place on yeah. a boat. That's yeah. like a lot of fun, it's pretty yeah. magical. And would you come back to Kuala Lumpur already after being here for a little bit? Or? Oh, ab absolutely. Yeah. And the, what I was thinking about too is if you're like digital nomad, like this is definitely a place to consider. It's just so affordable. We're in a, a luxury condo building with like a infinity pool and it's just these beautiful amenities. Yeah. I think it's like 30 a night US. Yeah. So yeah. you could do like 900 a month and you're getting like this beautiful yeah. place. You have monthly rate as well, yeah. which is a lot lower than that. And if you're from the US, I don't know about Europe, but in the US it's like 90 day visa free. Yeah. It's like, and, and the, the cab rides are like two to five dollars yeah. US. I think the uh, unlimited uh, cell phone, unlimited data for a month is like ten dollars US. Yeah. I mean, how can you beat yeah. that? Like yeah. everything here is just super affordable. Yeah. You don't have to worry about winter. I hate winter. I'm just like not a winter <laughs> person. <laughs> You're not so alone. yeah, I do, I do not miss New York City yeah. for that reason. Okay. You know. Yeah. So um, after that's when I left. By the way, yeah. it was um, after the pandemic, like oh. during the pandemic. Yeah. So my wife's Taiwanese. I'm like, why are we staying in the U.S.? Let's get out of here. Wow. And then we just never went back. I own a dog walking service in New York City. Okay. So it just worked out that way. I'm an entrepreneur and, and uh, when I was in New York, I always felt like I had to micromanage and then the pandemic taught me that I could do it remote and it, it doesn't kill my business. Nice. So now I hired a manager. I make less money because I have to pay this manager to like really take care of all, yeah. all of the, but who cares? I, I make less money, but my cost of living is one third of New York yeah. City. So it, it works out and I don't have to be stuck there. Good for you, so, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you. Is there something that uh, maybe you wish or you could advise us something that we should know about Southeast Asia. It's actually very easy to travel around Southeast Asia, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like compared to when I was in South America, I felt that was much more advanced travel. Like when I was in Bolivia and, and, okay. and uh, Bolivia was really challenging because okay. the altitude and you know, the, the food poisoning and things ah, like that. Yeah. And just the transportation in general is not as straightforward. Southeast Asia, like every place is very convenient in terms of the transportation. Yeah. So I think uh, that's one of the reasons I feel it's actually easier than it sounds to, to get around here yeah. and to like get by. Some people I think are intimidated because, I mean, there's people in my family where they're like, oh my God, you're in this exotic place. Oh yeah, and, actually? Yeah, they're okay. like, because they're American, you know? And it's like <laughs> a lot of Americans are like that where they, they never leave the US, oh. which is a tragedy because they have such a strong passport. Yeah. And then they never leave and they're afraid yeah. because of the language barrier. But okay. once you travel for a while internationally, you realize like there's always a way to get by. There's always a way yeah. to communicate with people and, and figure out, you know, to, to make them understand what you're saying and then you understand what they're saying. Yeah. But yeah. if you've yeah. never done it, there definitely is that initial fear. I would say like don't have any hesitations about coming to Southeast Asia. It's, nice. it's like a lot of fun. The food's amazing. Uh, the people are friendly. I've, I can't think of a single like really bad experience I've had in Southeast Asia yeah. compared to other places I've been to where it's definitely been uh, more difficulties. Yeah. This was the favorite country to travel in in Southeast Asia. I don't think I spoke to enough people but we're gonna call it a day. I have to move on. I would like you to comment which country is your favorite country in Southeast Asia. This channel is based in Thailand. We're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and now we are in Malaysia for a little Kuala Lumpur series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Happy Chinese New Year. I would like to say from the heart of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia bye for now and stay champ.